Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, so I figured I'd make one. Mistakes. Uh, first, really expensive RV beginner mistake is plugging in to a 220 volt outlet. They are very similar looking to the 110 volt plugs that the RV providers uh, give to you or that you can buy. So before you plug in to a campsite or the side of your house or a barn or any place, make sure that it is 110 volt, not 220. You will blow up your batteries, your converter, your inverter, everything. Very expensive mistake. Uh, second expensive mistake, um, you can, if you have a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, you can accidentally wrap your brake controller emergency wire around something like your uh, too tightly and not give it enough slack to sway back and forth. And what that will do is it will pull out the plug and activate your emergency brakes on your RV <clears throat> and burn up your tires and your brakes because you'll be pulling it and not know that your emergency brake controller has been pulled and you'll just burn your brakes out and burn your tires out probably cause a flat tire um not not a smart thing not good so make sure that when you're wrapping your when you're hooking up your uh, emergency breakaway control wire to give it some slack and it doesn't snag on anything to prevent that. Uh, next silly mistake is relating to that. I would say tire air pressure. Always check your tire air pressure before you go out. Um, it's, it uh, can cause a flat very easily. Uh, a, a rule of thumb from what I've heard is every 10 miles you per hour you travel on your RV, uh, you'll increase the tire pressure by one PSI. So uh, be careful not to over inflate it and be careful not to under inflate it. Give yourself about, you know, eight PSI worth of uh, leeway there to make sure that your tires can handle it and they don't blow out. Um, also, just double check because a lot of manufacturers like to, some manufacturers try to get away with this or used RV dealers will try to get away with this. They'll install underrated tire tires for the gross vehicle weight of your RV. So check your tires, air pressure, and its low capacity. Uh, third, uh, fourth expensive silly mistake you can do is a heavy person getting on a ladder on the back of your RV or walking around on the roof of your RV. Uh, a lot of those roofs aren't rated for uh, heavier people to be on there. Um, I weigh around 160 and I feel relatively comfortable, but uh, I wouldn't exceed probably 200 pounds. So you're kind of skirting the line there. Just uh, if you can, if you're a heavy set person, try and sending somebody else up the ladder and onto the roof if you need somebody to check something. You could fall through it or rip your ladder out of your sidewall. It's just, it's a headache. Don't, don't do it if you can avoid it. Uh, another silly expensive mistake. It's not super expensive, but still annoying. Uh, I saw it on the Reddit forum the other day. They accidentally didn't fully latch their emergency exit window. So they left that open at night in order to air out their RV and not use too much electricity or run their air conditioner all night. Um, but they didn't fully latch their emergency exit window. And when you go down the road, that air pressure traveling down the side of your RV will suck it out and rip your can rip your window out. So your latch will be gone. Your ex emergency exit window hinge will be ruined. You'll have to get a whole new window with a whole new frame. Uh, it's, it's not good. Last uh, silly mistake that you can uh, incur is uh, somewhere along the same same lines as that, making sure that your compartment latches are completely closed and latched. Um, a lot of bigger compartment doors 
will sometimes only have one tiny little uh, flip latch to close to latch the entire door. And to me, that's just not sufficient. Um, you know, kind of wiggle it and see how loose it is. And uh, if if it get if you have a large compartment door, chances are that enough vibration from the wind pressure is going to pull that door open. So make sure that your compartment doors are fully and securely latched. Um, and also adding a latch into a compartment door is very cheap. So to save yourself a few hundred dollars in uh, parts and labor, maybe just if you have a large wide compartment door, add some more little latches, maybe three, a center one, a left one, and a right one to make sure that your uh, compartment doors are fully secured. Uh, that's all I have for today. Thank you for listening, and hopefully that helps save you guys some money if you are a beginner RV. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you found this content useful. Thank you.